Hello and welcome to the course Ethical Hacking for the Everyday Developer. So guys, uh, let's talk about the course overview that what we are going to learn here in this course. My name is Sunil Gupta. I'm a cyber security specialist, book author and a public speaker and I'm your instructor for this course. So first of all, we will start this course with section 1, Application Security Assessment. In this section, we are going to learn about the introduction of the course. Then we will learn that how you can install the virtual machine inside your system and inside virtual machine how to install Kali Linux machine and then inside Kali Linux how we can host a buggy web application so that we can perform various kind of attacks. Then we will learn section 2 which is SQL injection attack and in this section first of all we will learn about the introduction the overview part of SQL injection then we will learn that how you can perform manual SQL injection in manual SQL injection we are going to insert the malicious SQL statements to gather information from the database then we will learn about the automated SQL injection attack with the help of Kali Linux tools and then how you can mitigate SQL injection attacks that we will cover in the final video then we will learn about section 3 which is cross site scripting attack or XSS attack so we are going to start the section with the help of the overview part in which we will learn what is XSS attack and then various type of XSS then we will learn about the stored or persistent kind of XSS attack. We will also take a look at reflected and DOM based XSS attack. And finally, we are going to learn how you can mitigate cross site scripting attack. In section 4, we are going to learn about cross site request forgery attack or CSRF attack. So, first of all, we will learn about the overview part in which we will learn what is CSRF, how it works. Then we will learn that how to change operations in applications, how you can manipulate. And we will learn about user authentication, how you can log in inside application or log out from the application with the help of CSRF attack. Then finally, we will learn about the mitigation techniques of CSRF. In section five, we are going to learn that how you can handle the sensitive data exposure. So in this section, we are going to learn about the overview part of this kind of vulnerability. Then we will learn about LFI, which is called local file inclusion vulnerability. And with the help of this vulnerability, we are going to access the directories. Then we will learn that how to expose the sensitive application data with the help of this vulnerability. And finally, the mitigation techniques. And in the final section, we are going to learn about unvalidated redirects and forwards. So first of all, we will learn about the overview part where we will introduce this kind of vulnerability. Then we will learn about unvalidated redirects attack that how attacker can redirect you from one application to another application and then unvalidated forwards attack. And finally, we are going to end this course with mitigation techniques of unvalidated redirects and forwards. Now guys, uh, if we talk about the prerequisite, so we don't need any advanced level of programming knowledge. If you have a basic knowledge of programming, then that is enough for us. And you should also have the basic knowledge of software installation process. So these are the prerequisites. Now if we talk about the course goals. So the course is designed to provide advanced skill to analyze the vulnerabilities or issues available in the web application. And students will learn that how you can make secure web applications. So if we talk about the setup, setup is very simple. We have a Linux machine. And in that Linux machine, we are going to host a web application and then we are going to perform various kind of attacks on a web application. Now, why you should take this course? Because we are going to provide you information about the real world attacks on the web applications, then how you can prevent these attacks and then how you can make the web application more secure. So these topics we are going to cover. So this is all about the course overview. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you inside the course.